Hi, I'm Brandis Davis with the City of San Antonio's Human Resources Department, and this is Job of the Week. Today we're here at the Frank Wing Building, and I've got my friend Roberto with me. Hi, Roberto. Hello. Hi. He's here to talk to us about a job. What job are we talking about today, Roberto? Um, today we're talking about the plumber uh, two position that we have open with the city. Oh, okay, plumber two. So I would imagine that you are looking for a skilled plumber, someone who has the know-how um, to kind of take care of the city's plumbing needs? Right, um, we're looking for an individual that, of course, does have a journeyman's license, oh, okay. a plumber's journeyman's license. Um, mm -hmm. We want to make sure it's somebody that has at least a minimum of three years experience in the field. Oh, okay. Um, with the city of San Antonio, we do um, facilities maintenance, with, which is mostly commercial slash industrial buildings. Oh. Um, so it is required that they do have some experience with oh. the um, facilities maintenance field, which deals with a lot of, you know, sink, commercial sinks, lavatories, um, you know, commercial slash industrial drainage systems, um, you know, anything that you would do uh, for a, a big facility, like a oh, big building, wow. you know. Oh, wow, okay. So can you talk to us a little bit about um, what the day-to-day -day looks like for the plumber too? Okay. I can give you an example. One okay. of the things that we're in charge of here with this department is we're in charge of critical buildings for the city, okay? Oh. So one of the things that we have noticed in the last few years, mm -hmm. the city's grown quite a bit, as mm -hmm. everybody here knows. Yes. And, and with that, it's been more responsibility for our department. And that's why we're trying to get more skilled uh, professionals to mm -hmm. work with us. Um, an example is um, uh, Main Plaza, City Hall, mm -hmm. you know, um, all those buildings are critical buildings to us because they are where we have the mayor, the city manager. Oh, so yes. uh, these are buildings that we have to keep in very good um, shape. The maintenance has to be kept up as much mm -hmm. as we can, you know, to make sure everything works properly. Mm -hmm. So um, aside from all that, they also work outside in the field, you know, oh, for yes. our fire departments and our police mm -hmm. departments. Um, and this is anywhere from, you know, replacing a faucet on a sink to oh. actually going out and doing, you know, drainage work, uh, plumbing work, uh, replacing faucets, mm -hmm. uh, backflows. If you have any, per any experience in backflows, you know, that would be a plus. Oh. Um, so a lot of the times, a lot of the um, facilities, maintenance, uh, commercial field, mm -hmm. that kind of scene, that's what we're looking for. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it sounds like, you know, we need, of course, they need to be licensed, mm -hmm. but a very well-rounded plumber to help um, service our critical buildings and make sure our operations and our facilities get maintained and they keep going. Right. Oh, right. great. Um, so will this, obviously being a plumber, is it more of an individual job, but will they be working as part of a team? Um, a lot of the times, so the plumbers, they work independently. Mm -hmm. uh, but in, in, in occasions, they do have to work as a team. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of times, they assist are their departments. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, electrical, mm -hmm. HVAC, HVAC departments, whenever they need the assistance of a plumber, mm -hmm. um, they can get to a certain point and then, they, hey, we need to call a plumber, they'll have the mm -hmm. plumber come in. So they'll work as a team. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing I would like to say is the supervisors here are very well trained. Oh. They know their work. They know the type mm -hmm. of, of facilities that we work in. Mm -hmm. So. Um, they're also experienced in the field. So if a plumber speaks to a supervisor or anybody else, they understand what they're talking about. So that's a big plus. Great. So not only does the individual get to come and use their skills and their know-how to serve the city, not only do they get to work independently, but as part of a great team, but exactly. their supervisor's experience and can really be of help to them as well? Right. So they'd be walking into a department wow. where you have a field of professionals, of experts in the field. So that's really important. Oh. Who doesn't want to work with a bunch of experts in their particular field? Mm -hmm. I mean, I know I love working with the people I work with mm -hmm. because they of their know-how. So I can only imagine, right. you know, with your team and the team of plumbers, you know, getting to work with expert plumbers right. in plumbing field. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our viewers about yes. this position? One important thing, if, if you're a plumber that's out there and you're not um, particularly happy where you're at, mm -hmm. um, please look at the city of San Antonio. A lot of the plumbers that are here already or other, other workers, they've been here 10, 15, 20 years. That is a normal here. <laughs> a lot of uh, individuals that are in the trades, they retire, oh, okay, yes. here from the city. And you're talking to individuals that have been here 25, almost 30 years, okay? So that track record tells you a lot about the city. Yes. Um, if you're the one that's there and, and you want to give us a shot, you want to give the city a shot, please uh, please apply with us. Um, one of the things that we do offer, we do pay for your tools. Oh, yes. A lot of uh, companies out there, they, they make you bring in your own tools. Okay, the city of San Antonio provides you with your tools, and we mm -hmm. do have some high-dollar, high, dollar, high um, 
the equipment here is very expensive. Oh yes. I mean, we have state of the art equipment, wow. um, and like I said, it's it's um, you'd be walking into something where you would be learning a lot of the new stuff that's out there. Mm -hmm. um, we do give you a boot stipend every year. Every year you get an allowance to buy your boots because, of course, it is you know a safety mm -hmm. a safety precaution that we take. So you do get an allowance for your boots. But um, like I said. You do have a very good benefit package. You know, mm -hmm. I just touched mm -hmm. on the reti on the retirement. Here. Yes. You have a lot of you know individuals that retire here 25 years, mm -hmm. uh, 30 years. So um, it's something that I'd like to put out there. So if, if you're somebody out there that's interested in looking at something else and looking for something that's permanent, mm -hmm. um, the city of San Antonio is a good place to look at. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm biased, and I know I've said it before, but the city of San Antonio is an excellent place to work, and our benefits package is awesome. So not only do you get the health care benefits, but you also get the boot allowance and the tools and all the other things that Norberto mentioned. Um, so is that it for our viewers today? Yeah, I think so. You know, we pretty much wrapped it up, and like I said, hopefully we have some individuals out there that will take the challenge. Great. Well, mm -hmm. thank you so much for having us. Thanks. In addition to what Norberto mentioned, the ideal candidate for this position should have a high school diploma or GED, at least three years of experience in the plumbing trade, and the journeyman's license for plumbing. So if you're interested in this position, then I do encourage you to go onto our website at www.sanantonio.gov forward slash careers. Also, if you like this video, then I do encourage you to click that thumbs up button, comment down below, and subscribe. See you next week.